everybody, it's Sally here with a different view of my room. Now today I'm um, looking a little bit more at the four pillars and particularly focusing still on this idea of being a pianist. If you were with me last week, you'll know that the four pillars is our professional development framework that we have for piano teachers. That talks about the four areas that we think are absolutely key to developing your pianistic uh, piano teaching skills, being a pianist, being a teacher, being a musician, and then being a professional. So today I'm continuing with the theme of being a pianist, and in particular looking at building your playing and your teaching repertoire. So I'm feeling very pleased with myself at the moment, actually and with my husband as well, because after six months of living in our new house, I now have the music Back on the shelves as of the last couple of weeks and I've got a big shelf there and then I've got another big shelf here full of my music and those of you that are, have watched me for some time will remember that my old house all the music was stacked up behind me and there's nothing nicer as far as I'm concerned of being able to go to the shelf and grab a piece of music out that I might know and sit down and remind myself of it um, or a piece that I don't know and explore it now, I've got quite a few hundred pieces of music on here that, that, that were in several books, quite a lot of boxes, I have to say. Um, and I, I think probably there's probably more music I haven't played on those shelves than there is music I have played, which is a little worrying. So I need to get on and do, do much more on that. Now, I wonder how many pieces you have in your playing and your teaching repertoire. For example, with your playing repertoire, do you have uh, maybe five, maybe ten, maybe twenty pieces that you could lift off your shelf and refresh and revise in, let's say, a week or two weeks so that you get it back up to playing standard? I do think it's important that as piano teachers we continue to work on our own pianistic skills, our own pianism, because that feeds directly into the lessons that we give. I know when I'm really working well as a pianist, those are some of my most positive lessons because I have ideas that I can then feed in. Now, what about your teaching repertoire as well? You know, what level of music are you happy to deliver? What level of music are you happy to teach to? Is it to late elementary, sort of grade two? Is it um, to intermediate, sort of grade four or five? Or are you able to go above and beyond? And part of that is your awareness of the style and the, the, the stylistic awareness and the genre of the piece. So, for example, you know, Baroque and classical, understanding that um, the, the conventions of the time, that most, most um, uh, articulation is not written in. And yet it is absolutely crucial, of course, as well. So, as piano teachers, this is part of our job description, I think, knowing about these things, have, or to be able to know, let me just pop, pop that back on, to know that that is an area that we need to develop. So it might be that actually your playing repertoire, your teaching repertoire is really quite small. And this is then what you need to develop further. Um, stay curious. How do I develop my teaching? How do I develop my repertoire for my own playing? It is so important. It's not so much where you are, how many pieces you've currently got. It's knowing, ah, oh, but I'm going to develop um, and, and continue. So we continue to invest in ourselves as piano teachers and to build up and develop our own skills. Now, if you are quite new to piano teaching, then I would certainly recommend that a good place to start, if you're a UK-based um, teacher or if you're used to the exam grades, then that is a quite uh, a useful place to start by looking at new repertoire and new uh, pieces that you might be wanting to explore further. And I know many of you are aware that the new ABRSM um, syllabus is out, but of course there's also the London College of Music and there's also Trinity College of Music. And then if you're based over in the States, you've got um, the Royal Conservatory over there, um, which has a, a, an extent, all of these, and you've got examples like MTB, they all have extensive repertoire lists. And that makes a really good starting point. So do 
continue to think about your own pianism, how you can develop yourself, and then also how you can develop a, a greater range of teaching repertoire of pieces that you know, you love, and that you think work. So that's the end of today, teaching tips. Next week I'll be back and then I'll be turning our attention onto ourselves as being teachers and a whole range of subcategories that we have within that. I hope that's helpful. Let's go away, do some piano, practice ourselves and continue to develop our own pianistic skills. Happy teaching. Bye for now.